Hello, hello, hello. Oh, my camera's still a little bit wiggly waggly. Um, hello, it's Thursday, it's the 18th of January, it's two o'clock, and I am Sam from Be Crafty. How you doing? Now, before I get started, I'm just going to wait and see where we go, get all my other stuff sorted, ready for us to, you know, take part. Um, I like to consider myself quite organised, you know, like, like, I half know what I'm, I always do that, yeah, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do, I do, like, I've got a, a plan, um, and then plans change, don't they, and evolve, and, you know, you know, and I've just discovered that I've lost the whole body of things that I thought I knew where they were and wanted to use. So that's annoying. Um, as and uh, as and when you get here, give us a little hooey. Yeah, let me know. Pauline, hello, darling. How are you? So over on our website, we've got a whole section called Steampunk and Junk. And it's awesome. And I was like, I'm going to use some steampunk and junk on this page today. Well, do you think I can find it? I cannot. Um, and I'm considering that a bit odd because, like I say, I don't. Yeah, I'm OK. I'm OK. Thank you so much for asking. Um, I. Yeah, I just I don't, I don't know. I don't know where they've gone. I've, I've got no. I've got no idea. Anyway. Um, so you if you have um, been sort of following along the, the Bee Crafty journey of 2024, uh, you will know that we are doing the Bee Crafty deck of 2024. Um, it's week three. Uh, two previous weeks I've done. This one was done in my live two weeks ago. I'm not going to do this every time I'm in here, um, but I just thought I would uh, show you where I'm at at this point. So this was the first one I did. Like I say, that was two weeks ago here in um, my live. And then this one I did last week, uh, which I absolutely love. Um, and then I've already covered this one. So when they, where's the packet? They're, these are slightly bigger than standard playing cards. I did measure them for you, but I can't remember now. But they're plastic coated, so they're really shiny. Um, so, if I just get one out. I don't know whether you can tell the difference. Um, but I have, like, if I get that a bit closer to you. You see how it's just a bit duller? It's basically, I've just covered it with um, our stamping tissue. Because then if I want to paint on it, or um, put ink on there, or any of those things... Or if I do all of that, decide I don't like it and want to wipe it off. As simple as that, you know. Oh, have you? What What size are yours, Pauline? <laughs> how big's yours? I'll, and I'll show you how big mine is. I'm going to measure it now, look. These are... Um, so they're just under 14 and a half centimetres. Um by just under nine and a half um i didn't want to go for well i already had these which is why i'm using them um and i did i toyed with the idea of getting some a4 ones and then i thought you know this is that's this is a different size to any of my journals any of my um like atcs it's a totally different size so i just thought it would be um just something different really Five by six, oh, inches, hang on. Um, ruler with inches on it. If you were my ruler that had inches on it, oh, where would you be? <laughs> oh, so yours are bigger. So mine is three and three quarters by five and... Just over a half. 
my brain's not working that fast. So yours is set. So yours are big. Your yours are bigger. Love that. Okay. So how are you storing yours, Pauline? I'm interested in that too. I, like, I just like to know everything about everything, you know. Anyway, let's crack on with the Queen of Diamonds now. What I have done with these, I've tried to keep it obvious what the card is. I can't think of a single reason why I would ever actually use them again as playing cards. But, you know. So, I've got my um, I've got my dream bundle out as well. My dream bundle. Um, this is, I don't know whether you um, will know. So, we've got the January savers of 2024. Um, and this one is still active. At the moment, they're in a box. Oh, well, see, mine are in. I don't know what this is for or from. I've no idea. I'm assuming it's something for the shop, but um, they just fit. I know the wings are a bit bent up, but, you know, whatever. Um, so until they can't fit anywhere else, that's that's where they're living. Um, hello, Bevela. How are you? Um, Bev, if you were my, I would say, quite sizable stash, of um steampunk and junk where would you be i was really keen to put some on here i don't know why and i don't even know what um but none of that seems to matter now because um i don't know where it is um so i'm gonna grab my white linen dilutions paint um what i have liked doing hello dawn how are you um what i've liked doing it's just being able to sort of um, not totally erase the background, but just mute it down a little bit. You know where that box is from. Is it a shop box? Have I sold it from you? Or sold it from you? Let me grab me blendy mat. So just dib dabbing round. Because like I said, I don't want to lose sight of the fact that it's a playing card. But I don't necessarily want it to be, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Am I making any sense? Am I making any sense? I mean, I won't be surprised if I'm not. Um, it's been a week. I can honestly tell you. And Beverly knows all of my shenanigans of the week. But it's just been a it's it's been a week. Ah, the glass bottles. We sent some of those out today. Oh, I don't think I've got one nearby. That'd be where we see pumpkin junkers with that, those glass bottles. Hmm, annoying. Um, so just stippling this um white linen onto that stamping tissue. So like I say, it's still obvious it's a playing card, um, but just, yeah, that's, yeah, that was my signature phrase yesterday. 2078, it's going to be my year. Um, yeah. So just stippling that paint on, it doesn't give a massive texture, just a little bit. Now. This is just so that you know it can be done. Um, if you completely cover over a part of this and you don't want it, if you get a slightly damp, not wet cloth, because I have matte mediums over the top of the um, stamping tissue. Oh my God. Um, it means I'm just going to go back over a little bit actually take a little bit off that top one there as well a little bit off and then a little bit back on if anyone else ever do that get to a point where you're like yeah I, i've took some off nope let's let's pop it back let's pop it back um okay a little wafty with this guy So what's on your desk today? What's your what's your craft plans for the day? Do you have any? Um, 
I don't know whether you can just see to my left there. I've I have chosen Maxine, good afternoon sweetheart, how are you? Right. Is it dry? Yeah. <laughs> I mean one day I'm gonna do that and it's gonna be Oh no. Oh we'll get well soon. Um I have picked out black because I don't I always use black in some way, shape or form. It's very unusual for me to um crocheting a scarf for your sister's birthday. I can't crochet. I am diabolical at soft crafts. Like you know how sometimes you go, ah oh, yeah, well, you know, these things happen and it's it can't be all bad. <laughs> actually, I can't I can't. I just can't do it. Like I actually can't. But anyway. So gonna grab Bev will love this. My texture discs, but I don't know. There I, I appear to have find myself with a number of them that are from a set i'm sure um and yeah but there's five in a set and there's about 15 on this so you know you can only crochet squares well i'm gonna let you into a little secret then pauline you can crochet way more than me so we are going to grab some grip paste, texture paste, grip paste. Where is it? Grip paste. <laughs> and a palette knife. I've rammed a load of stuff in the bag where they are and now I can't get it out of the bag. Okay. Caroline! Hello, darling. How are you? So. I've got way too much out of the pot. Sorry if you can see my head. the middle there now I'm not all I want is a little bit of texture I don't want loads from this because there's other things that I want to use you'll notice oh Cooper just yawned behind me You know how I say movie project to suit you? I should take my own advice. Like right now. There we go. Yeah, I'm only using half of the stencil because then it limits how much I've got to wash. <laughs> okay. And then we'll take the other one. Oh, oh. Do you know, let's not do that. Let's get set seven and use some of these bubbles just to ah set seven is today's um that must be why I put it on my desk. See, I am so organized I'm not don't believe a word I'm saying. Hasn't flattened out what was at the back too much. Oh, amazing. I got so excited looking for my um, steampunk and junk. 
I didn't think I was going to be able to obviously use these. See, it has lifted a little bit off, but that's fine. Okay, we are all done. Oh, that felt, oh, I better lift that off the carpet, haven't I? Oh, I think that might push Mr. G's buttons. Or me later when I come and go, what's that on the carpet? Oh, it was me. Oopsie. You know. Not idea, eh? Okay. So again, heat gun. So, like, what's a good a good starter base for crochet? Then tell me about that. See, because I've actually lifted some of this off the back with that. Um, Dinkable, it's going to dry quite quickly. I did say hello to you, didn't I, Maxine? A oh, granny square. I just know I won't be able to do it. Now, I'm not going to slam my hand on this to see if it's dry, but it's not far off. It's not far off. Okay. Mm. I want to put colour on there. It needs to be drier. Let me get the um, non-stick craft sheet out. Because then I can just heat on it. That's okay. You know? So tell me something, ladies, um, for any gents that watch later, I'm not opposed to you crafting, it's just there's only ladies here right now. Um, how do you pick your colours? Like, if you're going to start a project, so I've picked pink and purple, what makes you decide on what colours you're going to use? Or are you a fly-by-the-seat-of-your-pants kind of a stitch? And what I would like to appreciate at the moment is. <laughs> I will be able to learn to sail a boat on my own around the world before I can crochet. It's a patience thing. Sanding block. So just going to smooth that off. So, I've decided that this is the top. Sit your pants. Stick your hand out and grab what's nearest. Because <laughs> you struggle with, just go for it. So now I sound like the control freak, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> so, let's grab some brushes. So, again, as with the other cards, the theme of all of my cards is I don't want to cover the whole thing with colour. I want to leave some white. Um, chances are it's just going to be the corners I leave, but there might be a few other bits that we, we bring back. Depends on what I'm doing. If it's for someone, a card, then usually what they like. get. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Well, yeah, so I've looked at the two that I've done, the two cards I've done. Oh. And, um, yeah, just sort of gone with... Hold on a minute. There's a reason it's called a blending mat. Uh, and just gone with something different. So it's in no particular place I'm putting this. It's just where I think the colour looks nice. You're a lefty who crochets right-handed, so you think I could learn. Mm. I think it's lovely, Caroline, that you have such faith in me. So 
So you'll notice that a lot of the colour disappears to the back. So where the texture paste is, texture paste, grip paste, it was grip paste. Um, a lot of that goes to the back. So like I say, I'm just popping bits of colour in where I want. And then what I like to do from there is grab a dry brush. This one is the biggest of the Dina brushes. And just buff them together. But not so that the colours mix, just so that they work as a team. What it's doing is lifting any excess product off. Which is fine. Um, it's If there's any just sitting on the top of that white. So as you can see, we've still got pink and purple. Oh, sorry, should I say pink raspberry and wilted violet. Um, but it's taken the lines out of it. It's taken the... Sorry, I don't know why I felt the need to do that now. Took you years to learn to crochet. You've known since you were a child. Yeah. I can sew plaits in a horse's mane. That's, that's about it. That's about it. So, from, <laughs> from that same set um, of dinkables, just going to grab these scales. And with what's left on the purple, just going to go into some of those gaps, even the little ones, because they'll just about work over your texture paste or grit paste. I'll get used to which one I've used soon. Then swap over to the pink. And what it is, it just reverts some of those things that you've done, but keeps um, a texture in as much as it looks like there's texture to it. But there isn't. I have just realised that putting texture paste on, or grit paste, I'm doing my own editing today, uh, means I actually can't stamp a face on there now. So that was good, wasn't it? Um, we might... I'm so silly. What we'll do is we'll go to, from the Dream Bundle, we'll go to the Journal Art Elements 2 part of that set. Let me just tell you about this really quickly. I'm just going to make sure I've got the details right. The Dream set, so if you go to the um, homepage of our website, all the January savers are on there. Um, and you click the date and it tells you what what's going on um or if you type in dream up in the top left it will tell you that that set is 8.99 for those three sets of stamps so you've got the elements to the handwritten words by me and dream by bev and you get all three of those um stamp sets for 8.99 that's for all three of them that's less than the cost of one um Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? It's just nice. Rusty's dreaming, so if you hear some huff, 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 in the background, one, that's my impression of my dog when he's dreaming, uh, and two, it's him. So, <laughs> I'm going to grab some of the circles, but I'm just going to use them on my finger. Now, if you'd rather not do that, one of the um, Bonios, these circles fit on there. Nearly all of these stamps fit on this block. I might as well use it now, it's on there, haven't I? Again, if you don't like to stamp with distress, you don't have to. What have you got? What's the difference between grip paste and texture paste? I, I mean, right, I've got them both. Let me put my lid on there, because they will turn me off, and then we can do story time. So, pots are exactly the same size, three fluid ounces. Um, so, this is an opaque medium, ideal for creating dimensional effects. 
So the texture paste, it has, it's smooth. So let me get, I'm trying to get a, a, a smooth bit of it to show you. So it's really, really smooth. I don't know if you can see that or if that's just useless. Um, but if you see it in the pot there, that might work a bit better. It's really, really smooth. Okay. Then the grit paste. It's, I don't know if you can even hear that. It's, it's, it's gritty. Like it's just got a bit more grit to it. Does that? Yeah. One's gritty, one's not. Which is why I went for grit paste on this, not texture paste, because I'm going to be using the dinkables. It's keeping it quite flat. So if I put that up that way, there's not a lot of dimension to it. Um, so the grit just gives you more to stick to. And if I'm going to use my collage medium to glue some bits on, then it's got that to adhere to as well. Yes, there we go. So like I was saying, these circles, you don't actually, you don't need to use a block, but not everybody's confident in doing that. I'm going to grab the, this one. And the same, now I'm stamping with um, a distressed look, especially over the top of some textured surface. And this is the thing, if you're wanting to use um, pastes and things like that, don't think that just because you've put something else on there, you can't still stamp. Are you going to get an absolutely immaculately clear image? No. But that might not be what you want. Might not. You know? So, like I say, most of these fit on this block. There's the heart. That's the top. And I'm a great believer in what you do to one side, you do to the other. Um, that comes from being a horsey girl. Oh, it's cute. Who you like it? And then the stuff. Does this big one? This is the biggest stamp. I wonder if that fits on there. I don't need to use it. I just want to know so I know if I've told you the truth. Yeah, it does. Actually, while we've got it, why not use it? So, in there. say thanks Dawn that's what we're here for the thing is if there's stuff you want to know if you have questions about things if we can answer them in any way shape or form that is what we want to do we want to be able to help you Right, now I'm going to grab the fodder box and just see what I have in here that may, oh, oh my goodness, I got these out earlier, so these are from, um, well you know that I haven't just done these because they take about three hours to cut out, well they take me that long because I see these shiny things and then Look, I've got loads of colours of them. You know what you don't when when you sort of don't know how to craft or you forget what you're doing. What am I, what am I doing here? What's my purpose? I sit and stamp and cut out all the things that 
Um, anyway, I quite like that there. So if I was to, let's put those ones back because we don't need those. I'm just having a play now. Yeah, I think it does. I like it. I think I need to put a bit more purple into here. Oh, I'm surprised my brother shouted at me for that. Okay, they're not that bad. <laughs> they're not at all. But it's it's one of those things, isn't it? You've got to be right in the um in the zone for uh for doing the cutting. So some purple. I'm not going to cover in all of the white because I don't want to completely take away that sort of white space. Like I say, if you know me, you know that I don't like to cover everything up. I just don't. I don't even know what I coloured this with, so I'm just going to try and blur the line a little. I don't know if it will work, like I say, because I don't know what it was. That doesn't look awful, does it? If you said yes, that'd be hilarious. And I'd totally take it. Yeah. And again, so like I said at the beginning, I love having a plan of what I'm doing. And it's the only thing... Anything else, I'm terrible. I don't like changing plans at all. Um, but crafting's okay. I get really... Ah, Beverly will tell you. I get a little bit perturbed by having to change my plans. Unless they're crafty. If I think I've got... If I, if I think something's happening, I'm kind of like, nope, that's what I was doing, and I'm doing it. Okay, now I am, just to tie the black in, I'm going to, I am going to use those, um, but to tie the black in, I'm just going to blend the edges of the card with some black, almost to frame it, oh, I should probably dry that though, look at me go. be on a light edge um, I am yeah I'm horrible if I uh... but guess what I'm all right with it like I said I don't want it to be really harsh or anything bear in mind as well while you're doing your um your deck your cards um if you, you you know you can mount them if you want to to give them that sort of harder edge yes you know you can these this is your project you can do exactly exactly what you want so they're going like so aren't they yes yes they are Oh, sorry, I've snuck down the bus, haven't I? No, you can't see what I'm doing. That looked like a good spot. <laughs> um, being sort of precise is not something I've ever really felt the need to worry about. Because now they've all got a bit of glue on them. And because it's wet glue, 
uh, here's a little secret. Years ago, I never really um, understood the value of wet glue. Um, it wasn't instant enough for me. It wasn't it wasn't anything enough for me. And I didn't understand why people wanted to use it. And I can honestly say now, without that medium in my life, I, I, I don't I don't know that I would be able to craft. I'm not I don't want to use the phrase as well as I do because it's like yes, you, but you know what I mean. Um having that maneuverability of an item is so good. So good. These are our new transparencies. I'm just going to make sure that I don't need to use any. Oh, see, they're quite cute. Um. I've left that tab on because I just want to see. Was to get tucked behind there, it'd be really awesome. <laughs> so, bit of matte medium on there, and this is where transparencies are great. Um, sorry, very quickly in this set, you get these two. Should I do on the other side? Yeah. I haven't done a particularly good job of cutting that one out. Let's get a bit close to the lines. And the great thing is they're transparent, doesn't actually matter. And the other thing with these is you can um, paint on them. So if you wanted to colour behind one, you could. I feel like I'm in a competition with myself for how much I can get on to. This card. And I haven't got a word yet. So, there's these words. So you get two in each set. And then there's these words. So it's the same, black on white. Oh, black on clear, clear on black. And then you get these ladies. Now, obviously, they won't fit, but they're very cool, aren't they? Let's put them over there. And... I think it might have to be charming... Does anyone have any thoughts before I, uh, I haven't got insufferable on here, but otherwise <laughs> I couldn't even get the word out then. Honest. Flowers are honest. Aren't they? Absolutely fine. Let's do that. Um, but I've now reached a point where I'll have to use a trimmer because they're bigger words. And I mean, the oldest paper trimmer in the universe. Oh, good. I didn't even do it straight anyway. My desk is in trouble here. Right, let's have a test and see what we think. Oh, 
All right then, Maxine. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Right, now, this stuff dries clear. You don't have to do this, but what I try to do is just put the dots on the back of the letters. <sighs> oh, it's on there. <laughs> I'm just trimming this as much as I can. Um, again, then pop this. And like I said, this stuff dries clear. You don't have to do this. I think it's just a force of habit. and here's the thing okay so i just gesticulated to you maxine with my palette knife dearie me because you've just written there very pretty thank you for the great live don't sit at home like you're not part of it this is a team sport i asked you what were oh that's one of Izzy's hair, so I'm not sure why it's there, but I'm sorry. Um, thank you. Thank you for letting us do this. We love this. Um, so there we go. Be Crafty Deck 2024, card number three, in the bag. I'm so chuffed. I'm so chuffed. She's beautiful. So thank you for indulging me for yet another afternoon. Um... Beverly will be back with you this time next week. I'm not sure if there's any other lives today. I don't know. But if there are, please go and join the, the people that are doing them and support them. And if you could give this uh, this video a like and a share, I personally will be over the moon. Because, uh, you know, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice when people like what you make. Um, thank you for having me. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye.